Our lips decline in volume with increasing age, light damage, and a variety of genetic factors. So with lip filler or lip augmentation, procedures becoming increasingly common in the States. Thanks, Kylie. Are there any problems with the rising trend? What actually happens when you get lip fillers? Lip fillers are typically made from hyaluronic acid, which may be the safest option we have today, as hyaluronic acid is found naturally in our skin, regulating nutrients, hormones, and the movement of cells, it's unlikely that you'll have an allergic reaction to it upon injection. But how does it work? Although this type of procedure varies depending on the person's facial structure and their own goals, the most common procedure addresses a deflated vermilion, or drooping around the upper lips. Upon injection, hyaluronic acid, which is a very polar sugar, physically fills the lips, but also attracts your body's natural stores of water and moisture to create a plumper look. Doctors will most likely use injections to correct pre-existing asymmetries in your lips, or to create a cupid's bow, the dip in the central upper lip that's considered youthful or desirable. Squeamish about needles? Usually an anesthetic similar to the one you get at the dentist can be applied before, or mixed in with the lip filler itself to reduce pain. Post-injection, the lip filler will be metabolized by the body between 4 and 12 months, depending on the metabolism and physical activity of the person. But are there any side effects? Even with the best technique, there will be a lot of swelling and bruising at the sites of injection, anywhere from 2 days to 2 weeks. Short-term complications like lumps can be massaged in or treated with hyaluronidase, an enzyme that will degrade the lip filler safely and rapidly. This enzyme may also be injected in the lips if someone was unhappy with the results, allowing a complete reversal of the filler. Long-term or late-onset effects like infections, chronic inflammation, and allergic reactions have occurred as well. However, these are extremely rare. They're usually associated with a non-licensed person performing the procedure and can be treated easily with oral medication. The only downside might be the $500 to $2,000 cost, which depends on the amount of injections you require. So if you're willing to put your money where your mouth is, Lip augmentation can be a safe procedure, and its risks can be minimized when you work with a certified professional. If you're curious about what else is going on in your body, check out our new playlist, ASAP Body. You'll learn fun facts about everything from Botox to steroids. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for new videos every Thursday.